Moves on the King Performance are made with a light press on the square. We want to look at the level settings. The King Performance can play at a very high level, giving even master players a tough challenge. But we want to talk about how to set the King Performance to play at an easier level. You'll find the menu settings offer a level option. When you open that up, you'll see various ones as you cycle through up and down. And we'll talk about fun and easy for a moment. First, fun tells the computer to play, make some random mistakes. That can be an interesting approach. You have different levels here, but a more direct way to change the playing strength of the computer is to set the easy levels from zero to seven. Now zero is on the low end, and that's estimated to be about an 850 EL low, a beginning level. As you press the right arrow to move up, you'll get all the way up to about a 1900 ELO rating. So that will give you a range in the easy settings. You may want to start with zero if you're a beginning player and see if you can win against the computer at that point. Press the OK button to save it and you'll begin your game by pressing on the squares from and to and the computer the same way. Amazingly, the King Performance offers even more advanced ways to adjust the playing style of the computer. Imagine for a moment you're a parent of a seven-year-old and you want to tell the computer to weaken a certain area of its play. Well, you could do this through the menu and instead of level, go down to the options menu. And within the options menu is a style. There are some very advanced settings available to you here. There's a few presets that show you it can play a defensive play, a solid play, normal, active, aggressive, and some user settings. Let's talk for a moment about what's possible here. Under these user settings, you could tell that the computer, the percentage here means what the computer thinks of the value of the pawn. If you set the value of the pawn much lower, then it would tend to give away its pawns easier. And I've tested this and it's quite amazing. As we go down through the menu system, you'll see the, the values of rooks and queens, what it deems as the value of space, that would be the center four squares, mobility, open spaces, the king safety, that could be an interesting one to set its king safety much lower, whether a passed pawn is important to the computer, uh, how well it protects its pawns, that's pawn weakness, and so on. Now to set one of these, if you really want to experiment with these interesting ways of, of dialing in the computer settings, this on the left hand again is what the computer thinks of its own pieces. And this on the right hand is what the computer uh, thinks about your pieces. Let's say we wanted the computer to, well, kind of overlook its rooks. We would select the rook, enter, and use the left and right arrows to dial this I can go down quicker with the down arrows. And here we have, let's say, a quarter of the value of its typical rook. And you could play with different settings and save those. And if you have a young player in your home who you want to vary up their game experience or even weaken the computer's level even more, depending on results, you could come in here and just change some of these settings and they will have a, an interesting and fun game. I've played with it myself and uh, have really enjoyed that. So you'll go ahead and press the red button to exit this, back to the info screen, and continue to play. You can begin playing with the King Performance right away, or you can really enjoy fine-tuning its settings over your experience with it. The King Performance is a very sensory experience with the pressure-sensitive squares and move input, and with a very wide variety of playing levels and ability to control them, it really will offer a lot of enjoyment for a very long time.